Welcome. Today we will be showing you how to navigate the MHS Genesis patient portal. Please utilize Mozilla Firefox or Chrome in order to access this application. Please visit the website https colon forward slash forward slash my.mhsgenesis.health.mil. You should arrive at this web page. You have two options to log in via DS Logon or CAC. If you have a CAC card, please select the CAC tab here and log in. If you do not have access to a CAC card, please select the DS Logon option and place your credentials here. If you don't remember your credentials, you can select one of these two links, whichever applies to you, forgot username, forgot password, and follow those prompts. If you've never had a DS Logon, you will need to register for an account. Please select this button, need an account, and follow the prompts. For training purposes, I will be utilizing the CAC option to log in. You will be asked to review this policy and accept, or if you decline, sign out. I will be accepting the policy. Your patient portal should show like this. There's a few quick link options that you have available to you from the home page. That is the ability to see your messages, select your inbox, or send a message here. You can also view any upcoming appointments displayed here and also select schedule a new appointment. If you are logging in for the first time, Please ensure that your contact details are correct by selecting the drop down menu here under your name and selecting patient information. If you do have family members under you, they will also display on this area and you can toggle between charts that way as well. We do have a few options at the top. These tabs here, I will read them off, health record, messaging, appointments, clipboards, and medications. For today, we will be stressing on how to schedule an appointment and how to send a message to your team. These two options should greatly help you accomplish your medical needs. Firstly, we will go to the health record. On your left, you will see a series of options. You will see your COVID-19 results here. Any COVID labs that were acquired from you will be displayed on here instantly. Any other labs will be displayed within 36 business hours. Results and measurements will show here. Documents, medications, procedures, visit summaries, a visit summary would be what you, a copy you would get after a visit that you have, such as an appointment, a primary care visit. Through this tab, you will be able to download or email those to yourself or a specialist if you need to do so. Radiology, these reports will typically be available within 96 hours, same for pathology, and clinical notes are here, and your health library would be displayed here. I will be going through the visit summaries to show you how you can send those to yourself or download. You can download by selecting the download button or sending, and it will give you two options to send by direct email or send through unsecure email. If you do not see uh, prior history, meaning prior visits or clinical notes, that could be due to our MHS Live Go date of March 19th, 2022. Any information you don't see here will be displayed on TRICARE Online. Please visit your TRICARE Online portal in order to obtain those. We do recommend that you download a copy for yourself for your records should you need them in the future. Now we will go to the messaging tab. Through here, you will be able to send a message to your team by selecting the Send a Message button here. 
When you arrive at this page here, you will have to click the down menu here. Please, if you see here where it says, please enter two or more characters, it is not like TRICARE Online and it will not show you a provider. You will need to uh, type in your provider. So if you know the name of your provider, please type it in here. If you don't know so, you can also start by pressing Fort Bragg and the list of available providers will show up in here depending on what clinic we are discussing. So here is just a general list. For training purposes, I will be utilizing a provider here at Fort Bragg. Please type in a, a subject here. You can attach documents here if you need to, and then the content of your message would be typed in here, and you can send, click the send button, and it will come into our message pools within the clinic, and then we'll action them and give you a call if we need to, or arrange care through our nursing team, healthcare team. Next, we will visit the appointments tab. Through here, you will be able to request an appointment. We will go to schedule a new appointment. You do have two options here at this time. We will be scheduling an, an appointment, a request for an appointment through the visit reason. Please do not select the provider. Select visit reason. For the field here where it says choose a reason for your visit, it will be the same thing as in a messaging except with a few options. Please select primary, I mean, I apologize. Please select the request appointment other online and then hit search. The other options don't work at this time, so please just select request appointment other online and hit search. For send a request to is the same thing as the message. It will prompt you to type two or more characters. So please type in the name of your provider here and select them. And then you need, do need to complete the fields following such as when do you want your visit, first available, or if you have a specific time frame, uh, the days that you prefer, preferred times, and the reason for the appointment. Some needs can be taken care of without an appointment, so the more thorough the information, uh, the best able we are to assist you. You do have two means that we can contact you through secure message or by phone. If you select the secure message option, we will find an appointment that meets your needs and send you a message with those details, so please check your inbox for that information. If you do choose by telephone, please ensure that you've updated your telephone number through the patient information option that we mentioned earlier here on patient information. Update your contact details there. Then send the request. We will get that at the clinic and then help facilitate your care that way. We do have Available e-visits here. You do have that option for a COVID-19 coronavirus questionnaire. If you do take this, please um, be aware that this is strictly a questionnaire in order to assist what kind of visit you need. This is not an option to schedule an appointment. When you do fill that, we will get it at the clinic. A provider or nurse will review that to see what kind of care you need, but it is not an option to schedule an appointment. You will need to utilize the, um, the process we just mentioned before for scheduling a new appointment. We'll move on to clipboards. For clipboards, this option is pre-filled here with questionnaires that we use regularly in the clinics. You don't have to worry about this unless asked to do so. If we call you for an appointment and ask you to please visit the clipboards and fill out a specific questionnaire, then you could do it here and it will uh, make your visit go a lot smoother in the clinic. Next, we'll go on to medications. All your medications will be displayed in this area here and you do have the option to renew those here as well. 
by selecting the Renew button next to the medication in question. Now again, due to our go live date of March 19, 2022, any medications that were entered prior to then will be on TRICARE online and you can activate those refills there. That is just for refills, so if you know you do not have any refills left and you will need to request renewals through the patient portal here. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.